Today I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Research Auto Collage 2008 to create authentic evidence of learning. Basically, to get started with Auto Collage, you want to make sure that you have a master folder of the learning. So, very important to always have one specific folder for one single collage. I'm going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Research Auto Collage. The first thing you need to do is choose the folder that contains the images. So, right here with the ellipse in the image browser section, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to locate my folder to Canada. And as soon as I choose it, then my pictures start to display. It says 12 out of 13 images were loaded, and that's because one was too small, so it's not going to load. So I'm just going to say OK to that. At this point, I could choose on the slider how many images I want to have available of those 12 that I have selected. So if I only wanted it, the computer to choose 10 or 11, but I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I can choose all of them. At this point, I am going to choose Options, and I'm going to take a look here at the Advanced tab. This is where you can adjust the image overlap, the second-ranked images, how they're going to be viewed, and as well as the top-ranked images. So now all I have to do is click Create, and then the magic happens. So this is what the collage would look like. And I want to now go ahead and save it. So here you'll notice that um, I have that um, collage that I created. Notice that I actually put text in here. So all I did in order to put text is I inserted the picture, and then I went to Insert Text Box. So word art can be snazzy. Make that however you would like it to stand out. Select all that I put in there, the words, the picture, and I want to group it. After I group it, now it becomes one picture. So now I can right click and save as picture. And the students can name it and put it into their personal folder or into their portfolio so that they can use it for their project. So basically it's as easy as it is. Start with your folder, open auto collage, create that collage, and finally put it into a program like PowerPoint or Publisher, add some text, save it as a picture, and voila, you have your auto collage personalized.